All right, hey guys, just got done building my first ever uh, cornhole set. So it's late June, so summer's already well underway. So just thought I wanted to kind of make my own cornhole set. it would be fun for family vacations. We've got one coming up uh, next weekend already. So just wanted to have a set of my own, I guess. So thought I'd show them to you guys. I probably should have, um, you know, taken some video along the building process, but I just didn't. Um, but if I make another set, I'll definitely show more of the process. And I think I would make a design pretty similar to this one. Uh, it's a little bit different than some of the other cornhole sets that I've seen and played on. Uh, it's a lot lighter, uh, intentionally a lot lighter, and this one nests as well. So I'll show show that to you guys. Uh, first, I guess I wanted to show a couple things. Um, you know, got gray and orange bags, so made the boards gray and orange. Um, just two contrasting colors that I thought would be nice. Um, show you I guess a couple things that I wasn't too thrilled with how I did um, so I didn't sink some of the screws quite deep enough it's smooth to the touch now uh, but you can see that screw there um, also I don't have a ton of experience using wood putty so I got it on a little thick in some areas uh, so it shows up a little splotchy it's totally smooth but not not super pleased with how that looks uh, I think next time next set I build I'll either countersink the screw heads because I didn't on this one. I pre-drilled but I did not countersink. Um, so when that screw was driven into the plywood it just kind of pulled it down with it and made a pretty big uh, dent that had to get filled in with the wood putty. Uh, so yeah I think next time dowels or countersunk screws would be better. I guess that's kind of the main things I'm not pleased with is just the uh, the wood putty but I never used it before so uh, time to learn, I guess. But yeah, let me show you some of the features of them, I guess. Uh, well, the bags I'll show you, first of all. I got these bags, ordered them on Etsy. Um, they're super nice, super high quality. They're the 15 or 16 ounces. Uh, great quality stitching. They seem extremely durable. The colors are bold. Uh, and these are the resin filled bags, so they won't get moldy or mildewy if they get damp or left out in the rain accidentally rodents hopefully won't try to eat them so that's why i went with the resin bags uh, so we'll see how they hold up i think they'll be great so now onto the boards themselves um, so i made them lightweight they're made it's a one by four down there in front and then the rest of the construction is one by threes uh, just to save weight it's half inch plywood um, legs are one by threes and then this cross piece here, I dadoed it in uh, to the sides just to give a little bit more strength, uh, weight savings, rigidity. So um, I think that'll work pretty well. I also put some Velcro on, on the top here is the, uh, the kind of the fuzzy side and down here is the coarse side. So that's for the, the nesting capability that I've got. And then I had a little Velcro left over, so I just put some there and on the uh, back of the leg. So when you're storing them, they just won't flop around or whatever. So I'll try to show you how they nest here, doing it one-handed. Um, but yeah, just to, to show you kind of how it works. So this is a design that I just kind of came up with on my own. I didn't read instructions or anything, just kind of made it up as I went more or less. I did some sketches first but that's about it. So basically I'm just gonna lift this one up with one hand because it's not that heavy. I'm gonna set it uh, down there and then basically just pivot it. And I didn't do it quite, quite right um, doing it one-handed. So I don't have full Velcro engagement here. Maybe I'll just do that again, try to do it a little better. With two hands, it's easy. With one hand, maybe not so much. There we go.
All right, much better that time. So now I've got a good seal all the way around here. And then that Velcro actually holds strong enough that uh, it holds both halves together really nice. Uh, I'd still use two hands to carry it, to transport it, you know, just put one hand in each hole here. But it nests together now. Um, you could put the bags in there to carry them around too, of course. So, uh, yeah, just really happy with the design. So just thought I'd share it with you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.